how to use ClickUp for construction management. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use the project management platform such ClickUp to the construction management. So as the name said, management and management, it is going to be together. So we're going to head over ClickUp. Then we're going to open up our dashboard. So normally you're going to find the home page. If it is going to be the first time that you're going to use ClickUp, it is going to be empty in all the agendas, also the recents and the works. So you need to fill them up just like that. How we can do that by creating workspaces. So we are going to have here the workspace. All of these are going to be a secondary and we are not going to use them as uh, from the beginning. So we are going to create our first new space and we're going to have uh, maybe the name of it added as let's say here uh, construction construction management for example meant for maybe site one we are going to have some sites maybe and we are going to have the description of it every thing may be related related to the uh, constructions and Construction. Boom. Construction. So we are going to click on continue or we can go ahead and click on use template. So basically the templates are going to be the uh, helps for you. So maybe you're going to find a preset or pre-made one as a um, beginners. So you can go ahead and search for ones that you need. Maybe as you can see, it is. it doesn't mean that you need to see the exact uh, project or the uh, exact uh, nomination. For example, here we have the nomination of it. Also, you can go ahead and have the uh, specific, um, let's say a project that you're going to find and you're going to see the cases or the uh, columns that has been added. It is going to be much new. So in my case, I'm going to have the construction project management for this one. Uh, the complexity of this is going to be advanced. That means it is going to be okay. I can go ahead and click on use. So what do we have in this uh, template included? We have the status groups. We have seven groups and we have the custom fields. We have the site address, the house type, the spend, the flag project header, the phases, project type and everything. This is going to uh, win us a lot of time in here to manage all of these. We have the click apps like the priorities, the tags, uh, tags right there, the time tracking, multiple assignee, email, click app, and etc. And we have also the views. Now, I'm going to click on use and we're going to name that space. So we are going to have construction, construction page, or let's say project or P1. I'm going to name it P1 or project one. You can have here the import options so you can import anything or customize the importation. I'm going to let it as import anything. For the project date, we are going to uh, have the import as in. And if you do you want to include archived tasks, no, I'm going to use here the, uh, let's say here, uh, the template as it is. I'm going to create the task or the project itself and wait for it. So it is going to be under construction in here for construction. We're going to wait for it since it is going to be a complex uh, project. It is going to take a little bit of time for importing all of the, um, the columns, the examples and everything. So we're going to wait for it until it is going to be appearing in our spaces in here. So after a long wait, we have already, or we have finally the project. So as you can see, when you click on the project itself, it is going to represent the dashboard. So we are going to see the lists, the recent docs, bookmarks, and etc. Now, if I head over here, as you can see, we have the lists for the construction, post-construction, pre-construction, and project info. So you can go ahead and have these set up as like that. So you can go ahead and put the project information. You're going to have the pre-construction added, for example, like that the construction and the post construction. So you can go ahead and click on start here and see that we have a document. This is maybe a walkthrough about the project management. So you can go ahead and have your team 
uh, see in this video so we are going to have an idea on how it will work so the folders as you can see we have some folders and these folders are going to have the same list for the uh, first one so this is going to be a project, for example, three, project four, project, I don't know here, one, from one to four. So we can go ahead and drag and drop the project as much as we want. So I'm going to put the one as in here. And the second, third, which is going to be here. Please let your place to the third one. Like that. And what is not one? It doesn't matter a lot. So in here, we are going to have that just right there. And the fourth one is going to be, it doesn't matter. Now, let's visit the lists. So for example, for the post construction or the project info, it is going to have the tasks or the information about the project as a information. So you can see that we have the stage, we have the assignees, we have the status, and we have the project size, Project type tracking, as you can see, and we have a start and a due date. Also, we have a comment section. So if I open that task, I'm going to click on it. So we can find the status of it. So I'm going to click and find all the status that I can do. And also we can see the activity if someone has added something. For the custom fields, these are going to be the game in here. So we are not going to find all the customs fields on any project like this. So we have the budget. As you can see, we have the calculation. We have the flag project header. As you can see, we have the house type. For example, you're going to have a variation or maybe some variation of the houses. Progress bar, as you can see, a project number, the project size, and the type. For example, refurbishment, renovation, and new build. So we have the remaining of the money. For example, we are going to have advance. We have the spent. We have the address, as you can see, the stage of it. As you can see for the site preparation, estimating, architecture, whatever you want from here. These are going to be very, very useful for you. This is why I have a uh, wish to have a uh, construction management template and I have found it into the right place. The tracking, for example, you can go ahead and have the tracking of it. You can add some subtasks, checklists, attachments for, for example, photos or Google Docs about the invoices and etc. So aside from this task, you can find in here the constructions. So this is the site of the uh, instruction or construction. We've had uh, the project uh, information, the project construction. As you can see, we have. Uh, multiple uh, lists with multiple tasks and each one of the tasks has its uh, specific um, let's say hero so as you can see here we have the handover the sub item one uh, occupancy permit and etc so we can go ahead and open up oh, for example uh, the uh, specific task in here you can have the custom fields changed for example and then we are going to see whatever we want in here so what can you do basically on this specific uh, plan or this, uh, let's say, uh, project or that we have added in here, which is going to be a template, you can go ahead and add some automations. And these automations, either you are going to have internal automations, like setting up normally the stages. So if you are going to have, for example, normally it is going to have some automations added, we are going to have the um, sub allocation or subcontractor allocation. Let's change it to maybe this one, site preparation. And as you can see, it has um, set up the automation. So the automation is active. Maybe you do not need an internal automation to it, but it is going to be okay. So let's see here where we've had the land acquisition, I think, or we have it just like that. So uh, you can go ahead and have another task created or whenever you are going to change the status, for example, of a uh, here or a stage of a specific task, it is going to change the um, right there, the group or the uh, allocation of it. So basically, that was pretty much it for uh, the template of today. You can go ahead and create uh, some automations like email automations for the workers, for the responsibles of the uh, the sub the project of course or supervisors 
and then you are going to be good to go now let's talk about the views that we are going to have into the project so you can go ahead and see the uh, construction tasks you can see by the status or the view by a status which is going to be a kanban and we have here as you can see a timeline for all of the tasks you can see them right there and finally the gantt view which is going to be very helpful as as you can see time tracking also task tracking that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one